we've done ProTog Cheap Camera Challenge, but just how will a ProTog do when we give them a DIY challenge? So today we're going to challenge a ProTog to do a shoot, but only he has to make the light. And we've come to... Place. Hello. Wow. 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 We're, we're very close, so. My friend, how are you? Yeah, so anyway, yeah. So you you're the see... DIY man. You made this all yourself, didn't you? Yep. This. Uh, and the table. This. Mark's obviously a bit handy with a bit of DIY, but today we have set him the task of DIYing some lighting for a portrait shoot. But today you're going to be making your own lighting a for... A DIY ring flash. Yeah. It's very, quite popular with uh, fashion photographers and stuff. And you can buy it quite cheaply, but just choose to make it because it's more fun. The model is booked to arrive in two hours' time. All Mark has to do now is to make the lighting, so he gets straight into it. So what we had was a fan from before. And we take the frame out. And I make a little mount for it here that I can connect it up to a tripod. So now we have to connect up a reflector. Fans are useful, especially when you can take them apart and make something useful out of them. So where'd you get these tubes from? Uh, you can get it from any, uh, most hardware stores, right. and, uh, but I don't use, usually buy stuff. So, um, ah, it came from a bathroom. Oh, okay. Without a doubt, it looks uh, rustic, but fantastic. But will this thing work? So what we have here is the plug that goes in, male and female, that you can buy from camera source. What, what it comes out here is, um, get three wires, and um, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try this at home. That's pretty complex. Okay and each, trans uh, each, each shoe needs a transformer. Yeah. But I'm sure somebody would correct me on that. Yeah. And these cases you can buy from anywhere. It's quite boring watching somebody screw. Not me. It's better if you do the screwing yourself. Yeah. Okay, let's connect it up. The electronics done by Mark. I hope he can wire as well as he can photograph. The moment of truth. Oh no! Oh yeah! Yes! Yay! Yay! Ta da! See ya, thanks for watching. Video effect. Wow, it's, it's like a music video. It's like an AV. What? <laughs> That's how we lose subscribers by doing this. So I guess now it's time for shooting, because this works. It works, and amazingly completed before the model could arrive. So Mark decided to test it out on a Lambie. Let's hope the thing doesn't explode. Oh yeah. <laughs> hot. Quite literally, the light is hot. Burning my face. I think we need some wind machine happening, right? Great. I had a curry last night, so uh, I'll just bend over. You know what happened last time I had one of these. So, uh, well, this, this, this kind of play? <laughs> I forgot they're quite strong, aren't they? Oops, I've broken it. No! <laughs> Are you serious? I've broken it. Feels broken it. <laughs> okay. Wow. wow. So, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to blast out the skirt, the dress, whatever. They all, they all did sing. it. They all wanted to do it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Thank you.
this picture available online. I take PayPal. <laughs> and then the model arrived in suitable clothing. Was that, was that dress really that bright or was it just a ring flash light thing? Okay, let's see how that works. This is what the DIY ring flash looks like. Pretty nifty for a scrap heap challenge style lighting setup. Something you might want to try at home or in your studio. Although you might want to sort out electronics elsewhere if you're not too clued up on that kind of stuff. Keep the shutter speed a little slower. Faster shutter speeds might be too quick for the flick of the tube lighting. But that's it, a DIY ring flash. Studio lighting doesn't have to be all that expensive after all.